in the right in the total column because I don't need any subcategories here because we only got one equity account. So I'll just put that in the total and we might just call it total equity. I'll just keep it with equity. And then we're going to say the total is going to be the total liabilities and equity summing this up. We're going to sum this up then, which is going to be equals the SUM sum function of the 15,000 and the 8396, which should equal this number when we're done. This is so a little suspense here before I hit enter. Little suspense. Hold on. Here we go. And there it, it did. It did it. It did just what we saw, just what we planned it should do. The very thing we planned to happen has indeed actually happened. What a coincidence. So I'm going to underline here font group and underline. And then let's put an underline, a double underline here by going to the font group and double underline that one. So that looks good. Is there any more formatting stuff? I can put an underline here. Let's put the double, double D underline here. And then the one underline there. So that looks good. And then that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Is there anything I'm missing? Do you guys see something I'm, I'm missing? I probably misspelled something, right? Let me check my spelling. See if it says I misspelled something. I'm going to say ignore, ignore that. I don't think that's a problem. Spell check says it's okay. All right. That's good enough for me. And then we're going to make this uh, blue. Let's make this blue for font sake, for formatting sake. Font group, we'll put the borders around it, all the borders, all border. And then the blue, which is that blue right there, which I can find right here by going to that blue, just like the accounting is fun or the Excel is fun guy used to say. And then I can move this one over. I can put that on my paintbrush, paintbrushy that one right here. Let's paintbrush this one over paintbrush that black to right there and let's make this our blue and bordered blue and border font group border blue border blue and then do that here border blue border blue there we've got that and then let's put this let's put this balance sheet in the middle so i can put it in the middle by selecting this whole thing and we could go to the home tab alignment and do that which is what most people would do but then you got that one large cell which messes other things up sometimes so I don't recommend it personally. I'm going to undo that. The better way, mucho mejor, is going to go down to the format cells here. When you got that whole thing selected, alignment, as we've seen in the past, the horizontal alignment, a center across the selection, and OK. There it is. So we get kind of a similar result. So there we have it. And we can double check that to this trial balance if you, if you formatted this trial balance this way, which is the best way to do it personally if I do say so myself and that means that you can add this whole thing up and see that you're in balance you can add these up and just say that that confirms what's in my asset uh, area and then we've got the liabilities which I can confirm here which is quite easy because there's only one account in it and you can see that the liabilities and equity if I sum them up 23396 adds up to the 23396 I don't need to do any adding and subtracting subtract one column from the other column and blah blah it's really easy if you set it up this in this debits positive credits negative on the trial balance to then convert that to the financial statements being able to check every subtotal along the way very you know much more easily than you could if you had them broken out with this basically two columns or in this worksheet would have six columns right and then you got to add in together the debits and credits and so on